All right, I believe we should be good. Okay, so yeah, as I said, I am going to be continuing this series, and I'm just gonna kind of get right into it. So I believe we left off on burn him out, and we're gonna keep going with that. Though we've taken the airfield, the enemy still hold on to most of the inland areas of the island. A maze of trenches and artillery positions run right through this whole godforsaken rock. The enemy's dug in deep, and we have to get our hands dirty. Flamethrowers. We'll burn them out. All right, let's get into it. Tanks are getting hammered by mortar fire. We need to clear these trenches and knock out each mortar pit. Get ready with that flamethrower. Incoming! Hey, up on them! Tear it up on me! Don't just fuck for cover. We're in the ripless defense. So this mission can be pretty difficult, but hopefully we get through it pretty quick and easy enough. The flamethrower actually isn't really the best on veteran because it's not as precise as a gun, obviously. So you, sometimes you want precision. You want to be able to know that what you're clicking and pointing and clicking at is dying or dead. A flamethrower, you never really know. Then again, I do have this M1 Grand. Taking a risk here. Let's heal up, heal up. What? <sighs> okay. Oh my god. Oh, come. I love how I wasn't even in the radius of that grenade. It's still. There we go. Good job, bud. Oh shit! Where the 
kind of in the zone right now. <laughs> Don't really want to mess it. He's up in there. Oh shit. Bunker, and I'm gonna die. Oh shh! Come on. That was stupid. They just bonsai charge out of the bunker. It's hard to. I'm dead. All right. It's going to be one of those levels. Every time I hear that friggin' word, I just get a PTSD. Because I know they're coming. Is there another sniper in the tree that I can't see? They're all dead. Get up there. Take the high ground. Oh! That ain't good. Take it out. One more pit to clear. Okay, got him. Oh, that was stupid. I hope that checkpoint registered. It did. Where is he? I like to do this because it makes the bunker blow up. But I guess I shouldn't focus on that right now. Considering I'm being... I gotta take these snipers out. Move, Robo! Oh, the shit is in my way. That guy came out of nowhere. Oh. Come on. Oh my god. Dude. Yeah, it's gonna... You're gonna have to bear with me on this one. But like I said, I'm not edi editing anything. If I die a million times, you're gonna watch me die a million times. Shh. 
It's looking like that might actually happen. Start pelting grenade. No! Come on! Oh man. Oh man, I'm dead. Maybe not. Oh my god, they're just endlessly respawning. That it? Is that it? Come on, give me a checkpoint. Give me a checkpoint. Give me a checkpoint. Give me a checkpoint. No, please, God, no. Yes, yes. All right. I don't care if I die now. I got a checkpoint. Oh, my God. The ringing is so annoying, too. Dude, these guys are just getting ripped. Charging. Counter charge into the bunker. It worked. You know what? Pop a smoke. My smoke just blow up the. Oh no! Oh my god, dude! They're just relentless. These <laughs> up? Oh, they all just disappeared. Oh my! This is. Smoke. I'm charging. This is gonna. This is stupid, but I'm going for it. It worked. We're moving up. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> but actually, the part we're about to get to is even more infuriating than the last part. All right, that that worked. Guns in here I could use maybe? No, I don't want that. Oh my god. Okay, I think that took care of it. But this part, hold on, I'll talk about it because I think there's more guys. Checkpoint, that's good. Alright, 
This bunker right here, walking into this room, is one of the most infamous shits ever. Hopefully, I'm gonna eat my words and it, and it won't be so bad. But they shoot you from up there and you cannot get them. Woohoo! Yep, it's already starting. This is a hard spot. You know what? Oh man. I love how he just ran up, shot me, did his duty, and died. What a good soldier. Maybe if I pop some smoke, it'll make it easier. And just try to do the pop smoke, charge, and flame strategy. That might actually be the best way to do it. Oh, you know what? I got I got close with that though, so I think that's a good strategy. Smoke smoke and flame. That's what you gotta do. First take out this guy. Or die. He's gonna run up again. Oh, get out of the way! Jesus. Smoke it up, smoke it up. Give it a second for that other smoke to kick in. Go, 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 go. <laughs> smoke and flame, smoke and flame. You're dying. Grenade. Oh my... Dude, the grenades, bro. Oh my god. I can't wait till we get to Heart of the Right. That's going to be atrocious. He's going to run up. Oh my god. Uh, and that smoke backfired, but whatever. Eat shit. Go, 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 go. Dude, the grenades just spawn next to you. Did I do it? Did I do it? I did it. Alright, I made that go a lot easier. Believe it or not, that number of deaths I had is actually low for how bad that part is. I don't know if I have a checkpoint, though, so... I just pelt this place with grenades. I think I did it. There we go. Alright. So that mission got a little dicey, but it could have been worse. showed us that the enemy will fight to the death for every last inch of this. They're making their last stand in the jungles and caves that surround the heavy guns at the point. We take them, and we take Peleliu. I don't know where these tanks are supposed to be going in this jungle. I do like this gun though. Browning M1919. Instant grenade spam. Literally instant grenade spam.
Get down, get down! Oh my god. Do enjoy the trench gun though. God damn it. Oh, all right. It's going to start me off right back at the beginning. That's great. Grenades, bro. Oh, my God. What? I wasn't even near it. <laughs> Game's getting cheap. Jesus. I got grenades of my own. Where? He's like in the bushes. Try this side. These grenades are ridiculous. <laughs> this is a long reload. Come on, give me a checkpoint. Nope, I'm gonna die and it's gonna send me right back to the beginning. Nope, checkpoint, all right. I'm gonna die anyway though, or not. Just see it flying in. I love it. Oh my god! Bonds that charge. <sighs> yeah, I'm not getting on that triple 25 because that's a death trap. I think there's like, are you seeing this? <laughs> I think there's legitimately at least five or six grenades a minute. Maybe more. I'm dead. Oh man. I think this is more grenades than even normal. <laughs> I don't know. And we haven't even made it to Heart of the Reich yet. The second to last mission in this game is ridiculous. <laughs> it's so bad. I mean, it's a good mission, but it is hard. I think we got him. Nope. Keep it going. Alright, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. Bonsai charge might actually give me a minute to recover. But then when you get up, you're still damaged from what you took before the bonsai charge. I think that's it. Oh. Alright, I think we're good. Some ammo, let's reload. <laughs> oh man. Take the Springfield. 
can deal with them from a distance. I don't know if this is like COD 4, where the enemies keep respawning until you actually move up. So I don't know if sniping from this distance is kind of pointless. But I'm going to do it, because I don't really feel like running out there and dealing with all these grenades. I'll still probably have a million grenades thrown at me. Oh, I'm a terrible shot. Yep, still dealing with grenades. I didn't mean to switch. The so You can use the mouse wheel to switch sometimes when I throw a grenade. It makes me switch weapons. Honestly, the browning is just better. <laughs> Even at distance, it's very accurate. Yeah, I don't think they're respawning. I can still hear them landing. I'm not going back. We're good. I'm moving up. Oh, shit. Oh, here comes the cavalry, baby. Did I pick up the trench gun again? No, I need that. Oh, there's one over here. But I want that ammo that I left behind. Oh my god. These grenades are just friggin' ridiculous. Oh my god, I'm dead. I can't take cover anywhere because it's just grenades. Jesus, I'm getting pissed. <laughs> oh man. No wonder the Japanese lost the war. They're just, they devoted all their production to grenades. I'm just charging, I'm charging. Bonsai. Where are they? I'm dead. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh man, this is bad. <laughs> it's fun though. Yeah, I know, bro. Press V, I know. Grenades right off the bat. I'm just gonna see if I can run. Nope, that didn't work. I need to like kill as many of them as quickly as possible to get these grenades to stuff. I think even, I don't even know if they throw all the grenades. I think they legitimately spawn them behind you. I'm not even kidding. I'll throw my own grenades. How about that?
I know once I move out, they're gonna kill me. Fuck it, I'm charging. Bonsai. I'm ready for him this time. Just threw every grenade I had. Come on, I'm gonna move up see if it gives me a checkpoint, at least. I think we did it. All right. Woo! That was a little, uh, got a little hairy there. So good, Marines. Move along the gully. Watch the trees. Keep it tight. I love how <laughs> I'm not even. Gonna, I'm just gonna stop commenting on the grenades. I think we all can see. We can see what's happening. I'm just gonna stop commenting on them. Flame tank. It's hard not to comment. Look at this! It's so hard not to comment. But I'm not gonna do it. Giving up. Saw that little headband. Get behind the tank, baby. Did the tank get destroyed or it's just parked there? I think it's just parked. Give me a checkpoint. There we go. Jesus. Come on. Ah. Oh, that was bad luck. The reloads. I got two guns with long reloads. That's more like it.
buttons. I'm just kind of trying to focus right now. I'm literally in like zen mode dodging all these grenades. There's a science to it. You get good at it. Or at least you think you do. I'm dead. Someone's bonsai charging. I hope they're not coming for me. That's coming closer. Come on, give me a checkpoint. How about that? Oh. All right, I think this is the final part of the level. This last room could be a bit tricky. I love how that guy is right behind Polanski and he doesn't shoot him. Oh, come on. I gotta start all the way over here. Alright. Honestly, I wanted to see if the trench gun would be better, but really, it seems like the browning is like the only option. It's just so accurate and just deadly. <sighs> Not accurate enough, I guess. Or it's just me, my poor shooting. So I'm getting flustered. Get out of the way, bro. <laughs> Just run right into the grenade. I knew that guy was coming. No! I think we're okay. 
Gotta take this nice and slow. I know there's gonna be a guy right to the side here. Or not. Uh, at least I got a checkpoint. All right, at least I got a checkpoint. A loud ass computer chair. Did it. All right. Call it in. Damn it. How many Marines did we lose taking this rock? Already too many. Relay the message to Major Gordon. The artillery on the point has been. I have an interesting out. point about this uh, yes, final scene after the next. Uh, Cutscene because I am going to do the next mission. We have I believe it's the tank mission. Brave men, but their sacrifice is not in vain. Our tanks now form a line of steel so powerful that all German resistance will be crushed beneath its mighty treads. Today, we will watch as Sula falls, along with all those foolish enough to stand in our way. So my point, I'll wait to see if there's any dialogue before I start talking. So what I was going to say was that little section at the end of the last mission where uh, we said oh it was all triumphant and we um, took the point you know the artillery positions in the caves I believe I saw this on this was talked about in another YouTube video I saw about World at War but actually in the real-life battle of Peleliu when they actually assaulted the point um, they took the point and then they spent the whole night afterwards fighting the Japanese in hand-to-hand -hand combat as they tried to retake the uh, point. They ran out of ammo and actually got into some pretty intense hand-to-hand -hand combat with the Japanese trying to retake those caves in real life and it was very, very brutal. I believe like, I don't know the exact numbers, but a very small amount of Marines that took the point ended up actually surviving the night. It's pretty pretty intense stuff to read about. Where am I getting clapped from? Right there. Alright, now we're back to focusing on this. This is a pretty good mission. I'm not really a big fan of tank missions in any Call of Duty game, honestly. But this is probably the best one they've done. Although, Call of Duty 2 has a pretty good tank mission, the British tank missions, those are pretty fun too, but this is still probably the best one. I try to just hang back and snipe out the tanks. This one's a bigger threat to me, I guess, right now. Okay. 
Did I get him yet? No, he's still coming. I'm getting hit from somewhere, and it's not good. far for that. Come on. There we go. Is there another tank somewhere? No, that's it. No, right there. Flak 88 too. Got him. Woo, nice try. I do like, you could actually burn out these bunkers and they like explode. It's pretty funny. But I'm not going to waste time sitting here trying to do it. I think I just did it though. Or you can just do that. See? You just blow up those bunkers. Oh, there's tanks! Shit, I didn't even see. I might die because of this. I need to be paying attention. There we go. Did he get one shot off on me before he blew up? That's funny. Come on. I think I did it. Panzer Shreks, bro. Let's burn some guys. This isn't good. I'm taking a lot. I died. Friggin' Panzer Shreks. Really? It's gonna start me all the way back here? I always try to hit them in the sides or the back. I don't know if it actually, if they implemented a difference in the game. I think they did. Because shooting a, a tank head on, usually not a good idea. See, they just eat the shots. I think, yeah, I think they did implement that, where if you shoot them in the side or the back, you have a much better chance for a one-shot kill. I just gotta charge these Panzer Shreks and just keep firing. I gotta keep moving too. Oh, I forgot about these other tanks. I love the flamethrower on the tank. It's hard to like angle it into the bunker though. I've always oh I gotta blow up that radio tower, I forgot. Alright. Let's keep it rolling. 
T-34 tank. Probably my personal favorite tank of the war. I just think it looks cool, looks really sleek. Sloped armor. They're shooting Panzer Shreks at me from behind. I suppose I don't need to stop and deal with them, but I kind of want to. Just because they have the audacity to shoot at me. I don't know if that did it, but... This part, these parts get a little tricky. Because these bunkers just rapid fire Panzer Shreks at you. And I think there's more tank. Yeah, there are more tanks. They're like to the left. I'm just gonna see if I can just. I'm probably gonna die. I'm probably gonna die. Yeah. All right. Let's try that a little bit more carefully, shall we? This guy's not dead. Finally. I'm sure there's a way to make this thing go faster. Why do I feel like it's going slower than usual? I'm gonna keep pelting these bunkers with shots. See if I can just clear him out. There we go. I blew that one up. That's good. See if I can blow this one up. I think I got it. Yep. All right. Now I'm gonna take out these tanks. They're still hitting me with friggin' Panzer Shreks. Oh, that's why too. Oh, there's the. Alright, I gotta wait for the smoke to clear. Wow, that rock got in the way, are you serious? Okay, I think we're doing a little better here. Didn't even see that guy. Come on! Alright, that's the tanks dealt with. Let's see if I I'll go around here. <laughs> Look at that. What's up guys? How you doing? Good war for you? That's a <laughs> where the age of the game kind of shows up in. It's funny though. Oh, this part. This part is hard. This part, I... Oh, my God. Look at this one guy. Wow. Hitler's bravest soldier right there. Yeah, for this part, I usually just kind of hang back and snipe as much as I can. From this hill before I even think about going down there. So I think they got tigers down there. Yeah, I'm getting ripped. Let's back up a bit. Oh yeah, there's one like wedged in there. We're using that tank almost like an artillery piece, which is a real thing that you could do. I blew it up though. I can't see because all the sm oh shit. I just shoot at the red. If it's red, I'm shooting. I think I just blew it up. Yeah. I'm going. There's two more. Flamethrower in this mission is really kind of useless. Because, like, it's for these troops. But it really can't even, like, re see, it can't even, like, reach into the bunker. 
so it's not even fun to shoot. Look, they're just living. They're just surviving. Oh, there's another tank? This should be the last one. Got him. I think that's it. There's, yeah, there's one more tank. Yeah, I think that's the end of the mission. Pretty easy, I guess. Fortune smiles on us. In Berlin, the Germans will truly see what they have unleashed. In the midst of all the blood, the bullets, and the dead, I found that an old friend was still very much alive. Dmitry Kudrenko. I saw this man cheat death. Time after time at the siege of Stalingrad. As long as he lives, the heart of this army cannot be broken. He makes us all proud. I love how Reznov is just your hype man throughout this whole campaign. Alright, we're gonna stop it there. Three missions did pretty good, I guess. But, um, yeah, we'll come back to this series very, very soon. I'm gonna finish it probably within the next couple days, maybe even just one day. I might just rapid fire, bang out these videos, but we'll see. But I think that's uh, gonna be it for now, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.